Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Uh-oh, here comes that boy again. Alice, if he's here looking for me, and I'm sure he is, get rid of him, will you? I'll do what I can, Mr. Bronk. Hi, is Mr. Bronk around, please? Oh, I'm afraid he's busy right now. May I take a message? Oh, he knows why I'm here. Oh, will he be busy long? Well, that's hard to tell. He's a very busy man, you know. Oh, I sure guess so. Being the editor of a big newspaper like the Naughty Pine Sun sure must keep him busy almost all the time. Boy, imagine being the editor of a big newspaper like this one. Are you interested in the newspaper field? I sure am. That's why I keep coming here. I figure sooner or later Mr. Bronco will give me a chance to work for the paper. Well, aren't you a little young to be thinking about this? I mean, you're still in school, aren't you? Yeah, but I'd only expect to be put on as a cub reporter. Besides, well, Mom and me really need the money. Oh, well, I don't want you to feel sorry for me or anything, but ever since my dad died last year, Mom and I have been having it pretty rough. The journalism teacher at school, well, he said he thought I had real ability in this kind of work, and, and I thought, well, I might just as well try to get started here. Maybe after I get out of school, I could work here full time. <laughs> you have it all figured out, don't you? <laughs> well, not all of it. I don't know how much schooling I'd need before I could be a good newspaper man. Well, I'd say more than you have. And experience, too. Well, that's the whole trouble. To get a job, you have to be experienced, and to get experience, you have to have a job. Sure gets a guy down after a while. Oh, I know. But there is one other way to get in. What's that? Seems to me that any editor would be impressed with a young fellow who could dig up a good story on his own. Huh? What do you mean? Well, just this. If you could go out and, on your own, dig up a good story for the newspaper and then come back here and sell it to us, I think Mr. Bronk might change his mind about hiring you. Oh, do you really think so? Well, I'd do all I could to help you. That is, if your story was good enough. Huh? Go out and get one myself, huh? Well, what do you say? Well, if you think you could get me a job here, I'll do it. Boy... I, I sure thank you for the encouragement. Oh, that's all right. Uh, now, what did uh, you say? Freddie. Freddie Burns. And I'm Alice Flagg. Well, well, I sure thank you, Miss Flagg. Oh, that's all right, Freddie. Now let's see what you can do as a reporter. Well, there's old Ben across the street. I haven't seen him in town for a long time. Me neither, young feller. <laughs> Poor feller. Talk about never giving up. I know what you mean, Stumpy. How many years has old Ben been panning for gold out on Rocky Creek? As long as I can remember. And there are some that say that was pretty long. And what's he hoped to get from it? That's a hard question to answer. Been panning for many years and never found even one nugget. I'm sometimes put to shame by his persistence. What do you mean, Bill? Well, there's a man who spends every ounce of energy and every minute of time working for a dream. And as a matter of fact, a selfish kind of dream. Here I am, supposed to be doing all to the glory of God, heart, soul, and mind. 
I don't seem to spend half the time or energy that old Ben does looking for his gold. <laughs> I see what you mean. It's a good lesson, all right. Hi, Ranger Bill, Stumpy. Hello, Freddy. Hi there, whippersnapper. Uh, what you doing with that there pad and pencil? <laughs> I'm a reporter. Is that so? Sure. Well, <laughs> almost one. If I can dig up one good story for the Naughty Pine Sun, I might get a job with them. That sounds pretty good, Freddy. Is Editor Brown interested? Well, it's not him, really. His secretary, Miss Flagg, said she'd help me if I could get one good story. So now you're running around looking for something to report, huh? Well, that's right. Got any ideas? Well, you might run a contest to see who could guess how old Stumpy is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's so funny about that? A man's as old as he feels, which makes me about 24. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, Freddy, uh, do you have any ideas? Not one. I almost ran out of the office and bought this pad and pencil and paper at the first drugstore I came to. But then... All of a sudden, I, I couldn't think of a thing. It all seemed so simple at first, but well, what can I write about? Eh, don't ask us, young feller. That's why we're rangers and not newspaper writers. Hey, what about a story on a day in the life of the rangers? I appreciate your offer, Freddy, but around here, everyone pretty well knows what we do. I doubt whether there'd be much interest in it. Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Even I know all the things you guys do. The excitement with the rangers is in doing what you do rather than just hearing about it. Boy, if, if I could only find one good idea. Well, uh, let's think about it, Sonny. Uh, where does a man look for a story that no one else thinks of? Oh, if I knew the answer to that, um, I'd be home typing it up right now. Hey, that reminds me... Uh... What does your mother think of all this, Freddy? Well, she doesn't know anything about it yet. She doesn't think I ought to mess up my schoolwork having a job, but... Well, I know I can do both. This ought to prove it to her. And also help us out with the things we need. Sure, I know you won't let your schoolwork slip. Oh, I don't dare. One thing that might make a difference with my job is... What kind of work I'm doing at school. That's right, Freddy. Boy, everything is working out for me. But I can't even think of one story or idea. Uh, what about him uh, over there? Huh? Old Ben. You see that man uh, coming out of the hardware store? Now there might be a story for you. Old Ben? Oh, everybody just laughs at him. Isn't he the man who's been panning for gold up on Rocky Creek for a long time? That's right. Why do you think he keeps on panning? I mean, he's never found any gold, has he? Not a nugget. Maybe why he keeps panning is a story for you, Freddy. No, oh, he probably is just a nut. You know how some people are about things. He don't seem off balance to me, except about this panning for gold business. I think Bill's got a good idea. Why don't you find out about him? Well, <clears throat> why not? I don't have any other ideas. What do you think I ought to do? Just go over there and ask him why he keeps on panning? I wouldn't be quite that blunt, Freddy. Enough people have made fun of him that he's probably pretty sore on that spot. I'd suggest you get to know him a little first. Oh, I'll try. Boy, there sure is a lot to this newspaper reporting that you don't think of when you first want to do it. Howdy, old Ben. What brings you to town? Oh, just needed to pick up a few supplies. Uh, no gold yet, huh? I'll find it. Well... What can I do for you? I just want to see whether I can still make a better cup of coffee than you serve. <laughs> Coming right up. Uh, hello, uh, Mr... Uh, uh, everybody just calls me Old Ben, son. Oh, well, my name is Freddie Burns. Happy to meet you. Uh, sit down. Oh, thanks. Well? Huh? I've seen you watching me most of the morning, following me everywhere I went. <laughs> you saw me, huh? I, I thought you was 
awfully friendly just now. What's on your mind? Oh, well, nothing much. Well, you sure go to a heap of trouble for nothing much. Come on, boy, out with it. Everybody's told you old Benny's crazy, and I suppose you just wanted to see what a crazy man was like. Oh, no, no, it isn't that. Not at all. I was beginning to wonder if you had a voice left. I, well, you've been panning for gold for as long as I can remember, and... Uh, judging by the looks of you, I've been panning longer than you or your folks can remember. So? Well... You don't hear of anybody panning for gold anymore. I, I mean, we read about it in history books and all, but... You're interested in panning? Well, I would like to see how it's done. I mean, I know how it's done, but, well, I'd like to see it. Coffee, Ben. That'll be, uh, ten cents. I know how much it costs. I've watched it rise from four cents a cup on up. Same coffee, though. And the price still stands at ten cents. I'm looking for it. Yeah. Got it here somewhere. Here's a dime. Oh, thanks, boy. That's mighty kind of you. It seems like there's always somebody who's mighty kind around these parts. <sighs> the best coffee around. I never tell him that, you understand. I always lead him to think that I brew better coffee out by my camp. <laughs> How far is your camp from town, Bill? Oh, about five miles, a figure. Not more than that. Why? Well, I was thinking... If you don't mind, maybe after school in the afternoons I could come out and I'll see how you work. Mind? Why well, ain't had any company since them mockers stopped, and that was years ago. Mockers? Whenever somebody like me spends a lot of time going after something he really believes in, there's bound to be some who have to make fun. They used to drop fool's gold in the river and tricks like that. But old Ben knows what he's after, and he's not about to be tricked either. If you'll draw me a map of how to get to your camp, I'll come out first thing next week. Eh, pleasure. Real pleasure. Maybe you'll get interested enough to give me a hand. There's gold out there, boy. I know. I've been panning for a long time and haven't got to it yet. But I know it's there. Uh, maybe one more of us out there that believes in it will change my luck. <laughs> Freddie. Hi, Miss Flagg. How are you? Fine, Miss Flagg, fine. You still want to be a newspaper reporter? <laughs> well, there's a lot more to it than I thought. I knew you'd find that out soon enough. So, the idea's over, huh? Oh, no, not at all. In fact, well, I'm on the trail of a pretty good story right now. It's gonna take some time, though. Well, I am surprised. But what I said still stands. If you dig up a good story... I'll see that it and you come to the very definite attention of Editor Bronk. Well, I have to run along now. Bye, Freddie. Well, so long, Miss Flagg, and thanks. Well, look who's here. That famous newspaper man, Freddie Burns. <laughs> Not famous yet, Stumpy, if ever. How did you make out with old Ben? Well, I'm going out to his camp next week and see how he does things. Sounds like he's taking a liking to you, Freddy. Oh, I hope so. You know, I really like him. He doesn't seem crazy at all. Isn't that what we told you? And he really believes that there's gold out there in Rocky Creek. I mean, even after all these years of finding nothing. He'd better believe it. I'd hate to think he was out there just killing time, the way he works. Why would a man do that, Bill? Why, after all these years, would he keep panning? There could be a lot of reasons, Freddy. It'd be impossible to just come up with one that would fit old Ben. Besides, I thought that's why you were getting to know him. Just so as you could find out why for that there story you want to write. Yeah, only I thought maybe I could have an idea of what to look for or ask. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to keep playing it by ear. <laughs> I guess you will, Freddy. And I, for one, will be very interested in reading the final result in The Naughty Pine Sun. to 
catch something. I'm uh, coming ashore, boy. This sure is interesting. I could tell you were catching the spark, boy. I seen the look in your eye the last few days when you was out here. Well, it seems easy enough. Just sifting the sand and stuff that washes down through those boxes and screens. Nothing to it. Good, clean work. The smell of the woods in your nostrils all the time. When it rains, you and all of nature get wet. <laughs> like uh, the good book says, the just and the unjust. <laughs> you make this kind of life sound like fun, Ben. It is fun, Freddy. It... Is that why you keep doing it? Uh, what do you mean? Well, it isn't hard work, and, and it is lots of fun, but you never find any gold in your boxes. Do you just keep it up because it's fun? Uh, I thought we'd come to this sooner or later. Well, you have to admit it, Ben. There isn't any gold. I don't have to admit no such thing. Boy, I'm going to show you something I've never showed to nobody before. Once you see it, you'll understand why old Ben has spent his whole life right here looking for gold. What is it? Yeah, it's somewhere here in my pack. Just uh, wait till you get a look. Yeah, here it is. Look at this. It's an old book. A real old book. It's an old diary. Here, look at the date. 1851. That's over a hundred years ago, boy. Even before I was born. Oh, I know, but what's that got to do with... Old Ben will show you, boy. Just hold on. Now, uh, lots of the pages have been ripped out or fallen out, and some of it's pretty hard to read, but uh, take a look at what it says right there. Uh-huh. Uh, the gold in little rocky stream from the big river. Oh, that's only half a sentence. Now read a little more, boy. Hmm? If we never return to claim it, may its discoverer be blessed by his great wealth. Great wealth. You hear that, boy? Great wealth right here in Rocky Creek. But over a hundred years ago... It... You were thinking that this creek has been pan dry of gold, huh? Well, I checked before I started here years ago. There's no record of anyone ever even washing a dinner plate in this creek. But the person who wrote this diary knew about the gold. A man of God, boy. I've read every page that's left in this old diary. He was a preacher on his way west with a wagon train, aiming to convert some of those old girl, gold-thirsty men in the rush of 49. He had no use for it. So he left it and went on. Oh, boy, what a story. So you see, old Ben's not as far off his head as folks think. I have it here in writing by a minister of the gospel that there's gold in Rocky Creek. But you, you've never found it. That don't mean it ain't here, does it? Gold ain't like animals. You don't get up and walk off. He said it was here, and I say it's here, too. Uh, do you want to help me find it, boy? Well... Ben, Ben, what would you do if you, well, finally found it? Uh, well, anything I wanted to, I'd be rich. Yeah, but look how old you are. I don't know quite how to say this, but, well, you haven't got a whole lot of time left to, well, enjoy being rich, even if you do find the gold. What are you trying to say to me, boy? Well... I don't see why you'd start looking for the gold when you were young and could enjoy it. I could understand that, but I still don't see why you keep looking for it when you... I don't know no such thing. That gold is mine. I found out it was here, didn't I? I spent my whole life trying to get at it, didn't I? Who better ought to have it than me? That minister, well, he let it go because he thought that there were more important things than well, being rich. Not for me, there ain't. All these years, people have been laughing at me. When I find that gold, I'll buy the whole town and kick them out. But then, don't you see I'm that... going to see if there's anything in those boxes. If you want to stay, you're welcome. If you want to go, good riddance. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, just a minute. I'll help you out. Here, now grab my arm. Come on, come on, hold on. I guess you can't stand. I'll have to... I'll have to drag it ashore. Uh, 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 
Oh, 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 it's a good thing I was here. You might have, might have drowned. Oh, never mind. Just get some help for me. Freddy, Freddy, I, th- I think my leg is busted. <laughs> Yeah, that ought to hold your leg till we get you back to town, Ben. Uh, Looks like you had a bad fall. It's a good thing someone was here when it happened. I got a space cleared out in the back of the Jeep, Bill. Uh, we can put Ben in there any time. Good. Uh, here, I'll carry you, Ben. I'll get there by my own steam. All you have to do is just help a little. You old walrus. Now you just settle down. Let somebody do something for you. We've been out here alone too long. The only thing anybody does for old Ben is make trouble. Playing tricks and cracking jokes. Trying to make me out a fool. Anybody that's nice to me either died long ago or wants some of my gold. We're all three alive. Bill, Freddy, and me. And there ain't none of us won't even see that dream gold of yours. You can have every nugget you find. Although I sure can't see what an old 49er like you would do with it, if there was such a thing. That's my business. It sure is. Now, let's get you back to the Jeep. Here, I'll give you a hand. He doesn't know how fortunate he is that you were here, Freddy. He sure started acting funny. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, I asked him the same thing that Stumpy did just now. What he would do with the gold if he did find it. Mm-hmm. And, and that's when he got all upset and well, finally slipped as he was wading out into the stream. It's probably an idea that never occurred to him. At least not for a good many years. You know, you might have started shattering his whole dream with that question. Well, he sure is a nice guy otherwise. Oh, oh, I found out why he's searching Rocky Creek for the gold. Oh? Yeah, he has an old diary, over a hundred years old, that talks about gold in the creek. I guess the man who wrote the diary, a minister on his way out west, just left the... Hey, hey... What's the matter, Freddy? I got it. I figured it out. Bill, can you stay here and help me with an idea? I think I know where the gold that old Ben has been looking for is. can't help thinking, Freddy, that you might take over where old Ben leaves off. Naughty Pine may never be without a character around here looking for gold. Only you've improved the method from panning to this digging. <laughs> no, sir, Bill. If we don't find it right away, I'm not going to bother to... <laughs> there it is! <laughs> you better wait to make sure. I'm as sure as I can be, Bill. We found it. We found old Ben's gold. So when I tried to put together the idea that the diary was probably true, and as yet you hadn't found any gold, it came to me that in the river might mean under the river. That's when Bill and I dug it up. Uh Uh-huh. That's right. The old chest must contain all the valuable effects, coins, and jewelry of a number of families. But I suppose the secret of where all the treasure came from must remain in history. Ah. I can hardly believe it. The gold. It really was there. (laughs) That's right, Ben. And it's all yours. Mine? You dug it up, boy. Oh, well, I never have figured out where to dig if if you hadn't spent all those years figuring out where those old wagon train people had crossed the Rocky. I've probably stood right on the treasure for hours at a time. (gasps) And now it's found. And so what? Huh? 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 Did I hear you right, Ben? That's right. I wish there never was any. But, well, Ben, I thought that When you... I first started out, 
Years ago, in search of the gold, I was sure that I'd find it in no time at all, stake my claim, and live the rest of my life in ease. But as the years went on and I covered this stream from one end to the other, no gold, well, I got to be a town character, old Ben chasing after gold that ain't there. I was determined to show him. I finally figured the exact place on the river that the reverend must have found the gold, but I didn't find any. These last years, I couldn't give up. I was sure that there wasn't no gold, but I couldn't just walk into town after so many years and say that I quit. I thought I'd probably die out there, and then it didn't matter what folks thought. At least, uh, I wouldn't hear it. And now the gold has been found. And I don't know a thing to do with it, except pay up this hospital bill. <laughs> well, there's more than that in the chest, Ben. I know, I know. Stumpy, you and me, we, we must be about the same age. I may be a little older. Well, uh, maybe. Uh, why? Well, look at us. You've spent your life helping folks, doing something worthwhile. And me... I've been wading around in a little stream. Hey, I got an idea. Your ideas seem to be paying off today, Freddy. <laughs> well, I know how you can make your whole life count, Ben. Huh? Well, uh, why not give the money away? Help people with it. There's a lot of people who could use the kind of help you could give them. You know, it uh, kind of makes sense to me why you should find that gold and not me. Huh? Sure. All I would have done with it was wasted on myself. Now my life is about done. And I never needed all those things I would have had. But you, you, you'd give all that treasure away. You'd help folks with it. It's right that you should be the one to find it. Well, Freddie, I was beginning to think we'd seen the last of you around here. No, ma'am. I dug up that story you sent me on, and, and I really mean dug it up. Oh? And what a story. Wagon trains, buried treasure, and an old man who helps a lot of people to make up for a selfish life. Oh, where'd you get this story, Freddie? In a comic book? That's why he brought us along, Miss Flagg. He's got a story, all right. And it's one that your paper would probably be most interested in. A true story? True as true can be, ma'am. Unless I miss my guess, Freddy here will soon be Freddy Burns from the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> hey, I never thought of that. <laughs> Freddy Burns from the sun. <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you, boys and girls, that Freddy got the job. Maybe from today's adventure, you can see what the Bible means when it talks about looking on the inside of a man. We can do a lot of things for a lot of reasons, but the only reasons that are worthwhile are the reasons that are pleasing to God. Well, see you next week for more adventure with Ranger Bill! This program was produced in the studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago.